Hello and welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support Video Knowledge Base Session. My name is George and we're going to be talking about endpoints as they pertain to the Informatica Test Data Management data subset for SAP product version 61D. We'll be discussing what is an RFC, a remote function call, what is an endpoint, how, we're going to, how to configure an endpoint, how to delete the endpoint, and how to assign an endpoint to a project. So first, what is an RFC? Uh, RFC stands for Remote Function Call, and there are basically two types of RFCs for the SAP. One is a uh, dialog type RFC, and the other one is a CPIC RFC. A dialog RFC requires uh, a user when invoked to log on to the target system uh, with a pop-up screen that gives the logon credentials. A CPIC RFC is communication type RFC which uh, does not require a manual logon to the target system. It does that automatically and it does it with a RFC user that is assigned to that RFC. Uh, your basis administrator will know how to create these RFCs. The main thing to take away here is that an RFC, and it has to be in a CPIC RFC, must be created prior to configuring your endpoints. And then what is an endpoint? An endpoint is a configuration for the uh, data subset product to assign a RFC connection to a project. And how do we configure an endpoint? We'll go through that and how to delete an endpoint and finally how to assign an endpoint to a project. And we'll go through an example of how we will do that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is log on to an SAP instance where the uh, data subset for SAP product has been installed. And then we're going to go to the products area menu and we do this by uh, typing it slash n slash get st uh, get st slash main. And this will take us to the products area menu. One of the first things we need to do once the product project <coughs> excuse me the product has been installed is to uh, create our endpoints. So we'll go into setup and we'll go into the endpoint maintenance screen right here. And so we double click on that and the first thing we want to do is create an endpoint. So we'll go ahead and create an endpoint and uh, we're going to be creating an RFC type endpoint. The product can be used for file sharing or file based systems uh, but uh, we're going to uh, configure this for a remote function call. And so we go to the RFC destination and if we click on the drop down you will see all of the RFCs that your <coughs> SAP basis administrator has created. Well, we're going to select uh, a UB0 client 102 as our target and so let me go down and oh, there it is right here so I'm going to double click on that. And we're currently logged on to SAP client UB0101. And so that UB0101 will be our source system and UB0 client 102 will be a target system if that uh, endpoint has been assigned to the project. Now we need to give the endpoint a name and we'll just call that uh, the connection to UB0 CLNT client 102 <coughs> and then uh, this is regard the uh, checkbox has been created by for an empty system that hasn't isn't the case and then we go to the compression mode and we will select no compression and then we save the endpoint and the endpoint is saved successfully so we have now a endpoint configured so the next thing we need to do is assign an endpoint to a project or at least it's it's there and available for assignment to a project so let's go into the runtime and go to the project builder and I'm just going over the project builder uh, to creating a project just as basic as we can because we'll have other sessions on how to create and process a project 
So there are no projects there, so we're going to go ahead and create one. And we'll just call this uh, Demo Project. And we'll give it the same description. And now we want to assign this project to an endpoint. So we're going to assign it to the endpoint we just created. We click on the drop down for the target endpoint. And now our endpoints show up, and we have our connection to UB0 Client 102 right here that we just created. So we go ahead and create that. Uh, we fill in the other information for our project, which we will talk about later in detail in another session. But then we go ahead and click Continue. Well, now our project has been uh, created, and it has been assigned an endpoint. So now say we wanted to uh, delete an endpoint. Uh, say the, uh, the system no longer exists, uh, the RC connection is, the RC is going to be t uh, removed, and so uh, we need to get rid of that endpoint, and uh, this is how we do it. So we go into the endpoint maintenance screen again, and we select our endpoint. And you can see a condition UB0 client 102. We select that. And then we go into update mode. And then we click on the trash can to delete the, the endpoint. However, for any project that has been assigned this endpoint and <coughs> for this uh, source system, if any project exists, it will not let us delete the endpoint until all the projects that have been assigned that endpoint have been deleted as well. And as you can see our project is there so we it will not allow us to delete the endpoint. So what we do next is we go into transaction SE38 to delete the projects that are assigned to that endpoint. And uh, a program uh, get PF delete project is delivered with the product so we can go ahead and execute that and here you can uh, filter what projects will be deleted you can put in a user ID and so all projects that were created by that user ID will be deleted or you can put in a project name a list of project names or a range of project names and they will delete those as well but since we only have one project here uh, we're just going to go ahead and delete all projects on this SAP client, UB0 Client 101, uh, <clears throat> by leaving all the filter information blank. So we'll go ahead and execute. And it says, do you sure you want to do this? And we'll say yes. And the project has now been deleted. So we should be able to go back to our endpoint maintenance screen and select our endpoint. Uh, UB0 Client 102, and go ahead, go into update mode, and now click on the trash can to delete the endpoint. And it says, Are you sure you want to end delete the endpoint? We'll say yes. And now our endpoint has been successfully deleted. Okay, and that brings us to the end of this session. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can get in contact with us at uh, support TV videos at informatica.com or you can uh, contact us through our Twitter account as well. Thank you and uh, have a nice day.